Do you know who uh, Alex Jones is? I've heard the name, but I know nothing about him. <laughs> well, I need to show because I I reacted to this video on my very first podcast, but I didn't know how to like put the video on the screen and like you know make it look good. Um, but I I just watched this again the other day. And it's something that I think the world needs to see more because <laughs> it's so. Biz- Some people they take they take clips from. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of the guy Joe Rogan, the yeah, Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. People take clips from different guests and will make it look like these guests are interviewing each other. And I don't know who the guy is that does this, but it's incredible. Anyways, he did one where Doctor Phil interviews Alex Jones. Oh wow. And it is the funniest thing <laughs> I think I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and I got to show you it cuz it's this is good for humanity that Okay. Is. <laughs> <laughs> this is what being alive is all about. <laughs> um let's see I uh God, it's I downloaded it in fact cuz I was afraid someday I'd get taken down. <laughs> That's Alex Jones. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyways, <laughs> just prepare yourself for maximum insanity. And it's just, yeah. 20 years ago, they had cows that produced human milk. 20 years ago, they had spiders that produced body armor, spider guts, okay? They have human-animal hybrids 30 years ago. They've got giant human tissue farms. <laughs> and that's where you lose me. Bullshit! <laughs> Seriously? That's it right there. You, every time I bring up a fucking subject, you know all about it! Well, you know, I don't know. I mean, 25 years ago, that they had human-animal embryos, but they killed them at the embryonic level. Man, you need to go back to the... No, 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 no. <laughs> I believe it happened. Stop saying... I said it's it okay didn't happen. To talk about it and not be ashamed of it. It's, it's okay if you've got anxiety, you got PTSD, wh- whatever. It's okay. Let's talk about it. Let's get help for it. Get it behind you and move on. It's like a to, to talk about twelve dimensions, eleven known, twelve being omnipresent, so we don't say it actually exists. <laughs> to say that is arrogant. So I won't say that. I just I, I don't. I don't understand that. that. I listen to your interviews, and you're naturally very curious. You don't struggle for the next question because exactly. you really want to know something. That makes it much easier. Yeah. You know, people go and find these things on the Internet. I About mean, human-animal hybrids with pigs and cows? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. That's a bitch. I get it. Not everybody's like me. And I'm not trying to top a sky around. I think I've proven I'll go up against people. I mean, that, I don't feel bad about myself because of that. My first memories were every night was a DMT trip. Okay. <laughs> Short term, it can be an alternative. But I, I've seen people on everything from opioids to mood elevators for years before you decide you're going to be a human lie detector is do your homework. Do not enough. say that. I'm going to get killed. The minute you can get away from that, you need to get away from it. <laughs> no, they want the organs. You know, I, I can't answer that in terms, I mean, I'm sure there's research. of right. Aliens are real. They're creating human-animal hybrids that are a new creature, never here on Earth. It's alien. So the aliens are already here. AI is so alien. The chimera There's are also alien. some very smart business and branding that's gone into that as well. You know, I, I know you, that you're all on this point of view. Now I want you to prepare an argument for the other side. Black people, black people are God, <laughs> and white people are the devil, and we're gonna kill the white people. You're really gonna throw them off the charts now because <laughs> you've got a normally active brain that you're now making hyperactive. It's electrochemical. <laughs> but I'm reading in the Baltimore Sun. After I just had him on, I thought he was crazy. He's giving me all these patents for mind control using wavelengths and microwaves. So that lifts your mood and that takes care of it. So you took the medication short term, you're lifted back up and you're okay. You know, I'm an old guy, but younger people are getting their information in different ways. So this is a device given to us by the gods, (laughs) given to us by the technology that, that the breakaway government, NASA, has developed that you don't just think they made up themselves, right? I'm way better off than I was at the end of February. So, shit, we, <laughs> you made little changes and they all added up. 
And if you don't, by the end of the year, you're just in deeper. So Here's what I'm telling you about. When I was a kid, the first time I got chucked out was like this 17-year-old super hot chick. And I was like 13. And she goes, I'll have sex with you. This is a true story. I'll have sex with you if you let me put makeup on you. But then I go, wait a minute. You're detonating over 100 hydrogen bombs in the upper atmosphere to see if you could ignite the atmosphere and destroy the Earth. And she had a foot-long dick. <laughs> it's, not, it's not something that you should be ashamed of. And the sex with her is incredible. Yeah, I, and I, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, but the difference between winners and losers is winners do things, losers do oh, not. <laughs> it was in the police report. She had like a foot-long cock. <laughs> <laughs> like That's the, funny. it's now obviously all those clips are out of context, but whoever makes these, that's impressive. He had to he had to spend so much time because oh, yeah. these are like three hour podcasts, and he's just like, all right, I'm gonna get this line that's gonna go with this line yeah. and this other thing, and like it really looks like they're talking to each other sometimes. <laughs> it's it's terrific.